How many people see that lighthouse? It needs cleaning! Maybe they don't paint it. Well, maybe they do, but it maybe does. They just left with a sandstone or granite or whatever they make these things out of. Okay, I don't know if you can hear that in the background. Not the barking dog, but we have seals, wet dogs, and they're over there howling and singing away, so it just adds to the place. But we're off the Isle of Muck, and the tourist guide says that um, it's not the liveliest place to visit, and I can see why. There's <laughs> very little of it. And there's actually very little on it as well. Um, I think we've actually come to the more populated side actually. I thought this was the quieter side and the bright lights were around at the ferry port. But I think the people of Muck are cleverer than we suspect. And what they've done is they put the ferry port on the quiet side of the island and they're on this side. So good for them. Great move. From here we've got um, rum over there. We've got egg over there. We've got the Isle of Skye dead to the north of us. We think we have Canna over there in the distance. And I've got another wet dog swimming around behind me. So we're in the middle of the small isles. We're not going to go and visit Egg because it's the wrong direction. We generally want to be going that way and Egg is over there. So we're not going to go visit it. Rum on the other hand is dead north and then we can go around the back to Rum to Canna and Canna will then lead us on toward Barra and Eriske which is where we do want to go. And when we get to Eriske we're going to wait for a weather window and see if we get one and if we do we're going to do a crossing to St Kilda if everything adds up and all the dominoes line up for us, or whatever it is, cards, stars. Um, so we're going to try that and see how it works out. But for today, it's up past rum. If we are not really happy with the day, we'll bob into rum. If we're happy to keep sailing, we'll go around the corner of rum and we'll go into Canna. Uh, apparently rum is another one of those places where there ain't an awful lot to do. And um, looking at it, I can see why. It's basically, from what I can see here, got three absolutely giant hills with giant valleys in between them, and apparently Nobody lives on it. The only place you can have anything happening is around the harbour and I think it's only populated in the summertime. So it's a big, big island, very craggy, very steep. There's nobody there and nothing to do unless you're a mountain climber and we're not, we're sailors. So we'll see how rum goes as we go past. sailing again. Yeah well this wind wasn't forecast but it's turned up and we're gonna use it so um, we're going that way. Canna's over my shoulder but it's not a big problem. I suspect that when Canna heaves into view we'll go on the other tack and I think we'll run pretty much straight to Canna on the next tack. Beverly's geography's gone to pot. It's rum on her. <laughs> no but Canna is that way. Canna is that way yes. That's all I'm saying. If we go that way a bit further till we can see Canna. Yes. Then I think if we do our tack at this point, at that point, we should be fine. We'll yeah. be very close to doing it on one tack. Yeah, I agree. But um, we uh, went into Rome, and what did we think of uh, the anchorage at Rome? It looked fair enough, very open to the east. I could see if there was any swell, you'd have a lot of trouble, and you wouldn't be happy in there. But I mean, we saw all the tourist attractions as we went past. I mean, you literally get off, walk up one end of the beach, walk back to the other end of the beach, and that's Rome pretty much done. Yeah. So we're hoping for a lot more in Canna. Um, yeah, but even so, it's a good place to stop off before we carry on with our journey, isn't it, Bev? It's the ideal stepping off point, according to the pilotage. So that's what we're going to do. Absolutely, don't we? So we see we quite literally have had a reversal <laughs> of our plans. <laughs> oh, 
holidays we were sailing well but um, we're looking out to where Canna should be and basically we can't see it because it's in a fog bank yes this this one over here yeah um, and there was a point that we could see earlier which is actually on rum and that's completely disappeared now in the fog so sailing towards a fog bank definite no-no and that fog bank does appear to be advancing in this direction doesn't it it's advancing in our direction um and it's going at a quite a good clip as well yeah about 20 knots of the winds to be believed <laughs> yeah 20 knots so um we're gonna we're sailing back to rum and it looks like rum is going to be our home for the night it does doesn't it all right well we'll get there and we'll enjoy ourselves absolutely we'll be able to buy some rum we can always hope well, we're in can so beep. Well, we're in rum because we canna go to canna. <laughs> that fog um, really uh, scuppered our plans. Um, but um, here at rum, there's some more new visitor moorings, as well as a really good um, dinghy pontoon. It's not really supposed to be for us, but you know what? It's pretty good for one for dinghies. So then, you're on the main drag. So we are. We are on the main road. So just get, you know, we really are in the back of beyond. Um, we're just at the hotel in Rum, and I think it would be a great destination wedding, but it needs a bit of work. It's a bit run down at the moment. I'm in the craft shop. So this is Rum's craft shop. Oh, is it an honesty shop? You just pick things up and... Yeah, it's a honesty shop. You just pick it up and uh, buy what you want. No sails then, Skipper. No sails. It, it would have been lovely if we'd have been able to do the sail uh, like it we were yesterday. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it is what it is. There's ruffled water ahead around the top of the island. Maybe up there there'll be wind. Well, it's a boring day on Salty Lass because as a person in charge I get to go press the button anyway um, we're coming up to Canna and one of the bits of information that um, is in the pilotage about Canna is the fact that um, there is a, a hill called Compass Hill which can um, put your compass off track so we'll be monitoring that just to see but it's just sort of like one of the many hazards of uh, boating in this area well at last um, we've got to Canna um, and um, it's a really really picturesque little place uh, with moorings which um, you know if you're feeling a little bit lazy is good um, we didn't get the magnetic uh, anomaly but we're going to be going out of here and we'll see if we can actually detect it but certainly coming in we didn't find that uh, we did see a wreck though so bev and i will be finding out about that and i think i'm waffling waffle away okay so tell me about your <laughs> okay 
Tell me about the approach in. What was it like? Um, it was fairly straightforward. There was a leading line uh, on my chart, which um, has got two lights um, when you are actually at night. Uh, but then on the pilotage, there was another leading line, uh, but that wasn't on my chart. <laughs> and Beverly was doing her best to find it with the um, uh, binoculars, but there were so many two double cottages and things that she was having a hard time with that. But uh, we're on the mooring and we came in at two hours before low tide and our depth was reading 1.9. Um, now, as a back of the postcard, I did our calculations. Uh, there was a 4.1 meter range in the small isles today. So I increased that to 4.2 so that I could divide by 12 to get 3.5. Um, Surely 0 0.35. 0 0.35, sorry, 0 0.35 it, per, per 12th. Uh, and because I came in two hours beforehand that's one hour one twelfth from the first hour and two twelfths from the second hour making it three twelfths uh so three times 0 0.35 is um one meter uh 0.5 so as i say 1.8 so we're going to be about 0.85 so what would beverly and i have decided to do is stay here until low water see if the back of my postcard calculations is correct uh, but once we're happy that everything is fine we'll be going off and exploring sander and canna and canna because there's actually two islands here um, of which we had never heard of either of them and people have said about the small isles we always thought of muck uh, rum and egg Never heard of Sanda, never heard of Canna. See, you're quite literally getting into the spirit of things. Spirit in the alcoholic sense in your case. Yes, I have, um, I'm have. i going to have to hopefully not mangle this. Uh, I got some Askival rum because um, that's actually um, distilled on rum itself. So um, I'm here on Canna, but at least I can see the mountains of rum. Um, but it's an honesty uh, shop here uh, at Canna. So it's open 24 hours, uh, seven days a week, because um, you just go in, buy what you want, and then... Well, what's the point in locking the door on, a sh on an honesty shop? <laughs> exactly. You're either honest or you're not. So we're in the small isles, the Isle of Muck. Muck is an old word for pig. Yep, and Eek. obviously there's egg, and we've had our rum today. So we have got... Um, so how are we celebrating muck and egg? Well, we have got uh, sausage and bacon for our pig, because uh, that's um, egg. we just got an egg. And then um, rum, we had our wee dram today. So uh, So Canada is represented by mushrooms. 
<laughs> basically. And no, it is not a can of mushrooms. <laughs> We've gone for the real stuff. Uh, I only just got these uh, blues off. So why are we putting them back on again? Well, we were listening to the weather forecast and um, whereas tomorrow is fog patches, today is fog um and it will definitely be a motor um and okay fair enough motoring does get you to where you want to go but tomorrow sounds saleable so so at the very worst tomorrow we're motoring just like we would be today but if we're lucky tomorrow we're sailing yeah and that means we have to stay in canna which we both like yeah it's a lovely wee place um but we're gonna do an admin day <laughs> because then we can sail this hopefully hopefully we can sail tomorrow and then we are going to be in a marina but that'll be perfect because then we have it that strange thing called the internet we haven't been in a big marina since tober since oban no but the thing is every now and then we do actually need internet especially if we're going to do things like socialize and do stuff like that we also need supplies uh, yeah <laughs> especially with me being a gluten-free girl yeah the fridge is getting a bit low um you know i need to have certain foods um and no, no you don't what you need is breads i just stop feeding your breads and start feeding your potatoes and rice instead i know i love potatoes and breads but yeah we're gonna do an admin day just so that the schedule works out but we'll just see how it goes. So it's a lovely sunny day here in Canna. It is. No fog. <laughs> there won't be any fog around here. It's too hot in here. Yeah. But where, where we were looking out, we saw plenty of fog further on. Even yesterday when we were coming, um, we could see fog uh, out to Uist. Because I couldn't see Uist. So it looks like fog again today. Well, we'll listen to the midday forecast and see what we think. Yeah. You never know. That's the end of that.